Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today on the show, we're gonna be showcasing five stylish yet understated outfits that I think will perfectly blend in with a more relaxed and laid back gameplay style in Red Dead Online. These looks are designed to still be really eye catching, but they're also fashionable. And they're also gonna be more on the realistic side compared to some previous episodes of mine where some of the outfits I featured maybe had a bit of a try hard vibe to them. So before we get started, let me know if there's any other themes that you wanna see for the next outfit video. We could do bounty hunter outfits, normal hunt outfits, cold weather outfits, etc. I'm open to all suggestions here. Also, big thank you to my good friend, Mrs. Arthur Morgan, for helping put some of these together. Make sure to go check out her Instagram linked in the description below. As we get started, if you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Jumping into number one, we have the McBay. The McBay is a well-tailored ensemble here that exudes a sense of rugged elegance appropriate for the snowy wilderness setting. And the vibe this outfit gives off is one of a more stylish adventurer, or maybe even a player out there who's a more seasoned outdoorsman who values both form and function. You know the wearer of this outfit can hold their own in the wild, yet still catch the eye of fellow gunslingers and townsfolk alike. So we have the black and gold Burrell hat as part of this outfit, the red McBay jacket, the black Faucho shirt, the gray Avery gloves, the gray pinstriped cuff town pants, the red and black multi-tone half chaps, the gray Calhoun boots with the black steel toes to them. There's also a pair of black boots with gray steel tones. Make sure to get the gray boots with the black steel toes. We have the black embossed gunslinger gun belt, the black gunslinger holster, the gray and gold Salizo double bandolier, as well as the gray and red sharp buckle that you can get from Madame Nazar. You can go with any buckle of your choice. I do think that one fits this outfit kind of well. Also, just as a reminder here, you know, feel free to change up any individual piece of this outfit to make them your own. There's no rule about copying it one for one, unless you want to, of course. You can use these as a base template and customize them further any way you feel that's right for your character. Just want to emphasize that if you kind of don't like one of the choices or one of the clothing items, change it to something you do like. Next up, we have the Irwin here, which exudes the understated charisma of a gentleman frontiersman. He blends refined elegance with rugged practicality, and he is the hallmark of someone who's as comfortable in a high-stakes saloon game as they are on a treacherous trail ride up in the vast mountains of Amberino. So for this outfit, I would recommend the Owen Gila hat if you have it, or of course, if you don't, unfortunately I don't on my PC character, go with the red Hinksman hat, but the red Owen Gila hat would be even better if you actually have that hat. Next, we have the green and brown Irwin coat, the white Richfield vest, along with the black French dress shirt, the red tied pants, the red Dunson and boots, the red and green Webster gun belt, as well as the red and green Webster offhand holster. And in addition to that, we have the white row barrow necktie, or if you don't have that, you can go with the black puff tie like me. After that, we have the Hellsby, who carries an air of mystery and intrigue around him with his rich red coat that conjures up images of a twilight ride through a dense, silent forest. This outfit is for the character out there that commands attention without saying a word, and there is a silhouette on the horizon that both warns and beckons. So for this outfit, we go with the black and red Thoroughgood hat. This is going to require you to purchase one of the Thoroughgood Bounty Hunter outfits. Outfits, so make sure you buy the outfit with the black and red banded Thoroughgood hat. We have the red Dunaway coat. We have the white Morales vest with the dark gray fur, the gray frumpy shirt, the gray Hellsby gloves along with the black McCrum pants. We have the white and black Becker half chaps, the Rex Road boots from Outlaw Pass 2 if you have them, otherwise go with your own choice of boots. We also have the black studded gunslinger gun belt, and in addition to that, the black embossed gunslinger offhand holster. And for our bandolier for our weapon equipment, we have the red merino bandolier slung over your left shoulder. It looks kind of weird on the right in my opinion, so I just went with the left, more of a classic look right there. But that is the Hellsby. Now let's move on to the Gator. The Gator embodies the bold spirit of the untamed lands, and his eye-catching Gator-patterned clothing evokes the fearsome grace of his namesake. This kind of outfit is for a high-level player out there who walks with confidence, and one who isn't afraid to stand out among the crowd of dusty cowboys and outlaws. So, for the Gator outfit, we have the beige Gator hat. We also have the beige Hunter jacket if you want to get access to this and you don't have it, one way to purchase it is purchase the Ajacio outfit from the General Store. It's one of the pre-made Rockstar outfits that they have here in Red Than Online. In addition to that, for the vest, we have the black Valdez vest. For the shirt, we have the black Faucho shirt. 
For the pants, we have the beige bandito pants, and then we move on to the chaps where you can get a pair of black and green Alvarado chaps. For the most part, they're black, but they also have like some green stitching and pattern nor more towards the groin area of the pants and the chaps, I should say. And then we have the black Calhoun boots once again with the gray steel toes. We have the black and bronze gird and copper spurs for your boots. And then for our weapon equipment, we have the black embossed gunslinger gun belt, along with that black embossed gunslinger holster. You can tell I like those here in Red Dead Online. And then we also have the cream color Espinal double bandolier. Finally, for our last outfit, we have the Rutledge. The Rutledge is a testament to resilience here. It's a harmonious blend of functionality and flair for the unforgiving permanent winter up near Coulter. And it's suggestive for a character out there who's ready to endure all the elements Red Dead has to offer with unshakable poise. He is but a figure carved out of the very landscape he roams. And if you want to make the Rutledge outfit, you need the Haraway hat, which is the Arthur Morgan gambler's hat. You're going to need to purchase the outfit from Madame Nazar for 52 gold bars if you don't have it. Otherwise, if you do have it, then you're good to go. The gray Benbow jacket is the coat. We have the gray Rutledge vest for the vest. For the shirt, we have the blue everyday shirt. For the pants, we have the glossy black bandito pants. For the gloves, we have the black range gloves. For the boots, we have the Rex Road boots. And then moving on to the spurs, they are the Gurdon Moro spurs. And then for our weapon equipment, we have the studded bandit gun belt along with the studded bandit offhand holster. And that is how you make the Rutledge here in Red Dead Online. So those are all five stylish outfits that you can rock right now in the game. Once again, I should reiterate here, feel free to change up any individual pieces of these outfits to make them your own. Like I said, if you want to copy them one for one, go ahead. That's kind of what this video is for. But say if you don't like something, but you like part of the outfit, you know, maybe the coat and shirt, but not the pants, use whatever you want. Use these outfits as a base template, if you will, and then you can customize them further any way you feel is right for your character, your gameplay, your play style, etc. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video here today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online as well as Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and I will keep you guys updated here on this channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description box down below. And so with that being said, thank you all again so much for watching. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.